Welcome back to our community. Susie Thomas visiting with Chip Richter. Uh, he is going to be performing this Friday night, November 22nd, uh, over at Malone University in the Randall Campus Center, better known as The Barn. And that'll be taking place starting at 630. It's jamming in your jammies. And definitely wear jammies. Have the kids all wear jammies. And uh, it's fun for the grandparents and parents to wear jammies as well. And then uh, then everybody goes home and jumps in bed because you're all worn out from a really fun concert. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, Chip, when you talk about music for kids and families and that that had not been your intended path, I'm so curious, how did you kind of get led that direction? Well, I was um, I was pursuing, I was doing music for grown-ups. I was leading worship. I started writing some songs. This is, this is back in like 19, early nineties. Um, and I was, I've been, you know, just pursuing music that way. Mm -hmm. And I decided I, I've wanted to, to, I started playing out more and I thought I'm going to try, you know, pursuing this a little bit to see if I can make it my living. And, uh, like a lot of people do, and I began to do more concerts, and I continued to lead worship. And, my, and I, again, it was it was Christian music for grown-ups. That's what I was mm-hmm. doing, kind of folky, mm-hmm. um, James Taylor, Phil Katie esque kind yeah. of things. You know, uh, a lot of coffee houses. I don't know if you remember that time. The coffee shops were kind of becoming a pretty popular thing. And oh yeah, there was opportunities to play in coffee shops, and so I was. I, and I made, I, my church got behind what I was doing. They supported it, and, and then I released my first studio album it was called people of Des- destiny people of destiny and it was a, it came out on a cassette mm. <laughs> do you remember cassette i do <laughs> yeah so, can we still um, get that somewhere you, well you probably can probably on ebay cool. or something <laughs> if you, and if you can dig it up the wait, look at the cover and look at the hairstyle oh my gosh that's crazy <laughs> anyway um yeah. so that was um 19 19- I guess that was probably like 1991. Just the fact that you're saying 19, doesn't that seem funny? (laughs) Yeah, right. I know. (laughs) So So, anyway, so I was doing that, uh, pursuing things that way, going that direction. And then um, we we were just trying to book concerts because that's how you make a living living doing this thing. And Mm -hmm. so we we had sent a press kit to a place called Lakeside, which is up on Lake Erie. Lakeside is... Many listeners may know about that, but if you don't, you could check it out. Lakeside is part of the Chautauqua Network. Um, Lakeside Chautauqua is in their summer. It's a summer resort, very it's much, very strong faith-based fabulous. community. But it's just a fun <laughs> place to go. But yes. they contacted us. We had sent a press kit to try to book a show. They do entertainment mm-hmm. all summer long. And they contacted me and said, hey, would, would you consider coming and talking to us about, we have this program that we do with kids. And we, we'd, we'd like to talk to you about doing it for the summer. And I said, well, I don't, I don't do music for kids. You know? <laughs> and the gentleman that I spoke with, his name was Herb Getz. He was the director of religion and education at that time at Lakeside. And he said, I know, but I got your cassette and I, I got your press kit. I just think you'd be good at it. Would wow. you like to talk? Would you at least talk to me about it? You know, and I said, well, I was desperate to make a living, right? I was trying mm-hmm. to make this a go. So I said, well, sure. You know, so we love Lakeside. We go there as a family. And yeah. so we said, we went up and talked to him about that. And he, I said yes to it because I thought this just seemed so out of the blue. I mean, it seemed so far out that I was like, I can't not uh, explore this, you know, possibility. And, I, and I've likened it since then to a burning bush experience. Yeah. You think about how Moses encountered this burning bush that was not being consumed, it says. And it, and it says that he just had to turn aside and see this thing. You know, he had to. He could not just, he, he had to. And that was kind of how I felt. We had yeah. to explore it. So we said yes to that first summer, and that was in 1994. Wow. And uh, that's been 25 years Wow. Now. Wow. And we've been doing music for kids and families. I've been doing this program called God Squad at Lakeside. Mm-hmm. And that really has shaped what it what I'm doing musically and what I'm doing as a career and what I'm doing as a vocation. And that's, I would never have guessed that. Yeah. You know, Does Herb that just pat himself on the back saying, yeah, I, I saw that. <laughs> I called this. <laughs> well, he should. And, and I've, you know, he, he has, that was 
one of he's a vision he was a man who had a vision yeah. and who who was not afraid to step out into something new and and for and pursue something different and he did that with several things at lakeside and there is a legacy of some of his bold and you know i would i would say in faith stepping out yeah. in lots of ways things that he has done that, that lakeside is better for and certainly i'm i'm thankful for the opportunity to do that Families are just thrilled with what you do up there. I've heard it from just time and time again from friends who make it a, an annual thing, that that's where they mm-hmm. go, that's where their families go. And a big part of that is you. And a lot of those families then come to jamming in your jammies because they knew you from Lakeside. So that whole mm-hmm. thing has grown thanks to what you've been doing up there. Yeah. You wrote many albums since that first cassette <laughs> what yeah. what can people look for and what are we able to get maybe on um you know co- you know on discs or something sure. or to be able to download what can we do sure well my all my stuff all my music is up on itunes so mm-hmm. that's an easy place to go and it's just again my name chip c-h-i-p and the last name is richter like the richter scale r-i-c-h t-e-r also my music is available you could stream it on spotify and you know, we live in an age where music is being delivered so different than it was when right. we were doing it on cassette. Yes. You know? And uh, so I know a lot of parents, a lot of young families, you know, if you buy a new car now, you, there's not even a CD player in, in the car. Isn't that crazy? You actually plug your, you plug your phone in or, or the, the car itself may have Wi-Fi. Yes. And you just, so the, what I'm telling people these days is uh, on Spotify, you can find my music there and what people do with Spotify and Spotify listeners will understand this lingo. Go ahead and add me to your playlist mm-hmm. <laughs> and share it with your friends. Um, <laughs> it's a cool thing. I yes, mean, it is. can create these great playlists that they're, you know, if they know their kids are going to be in the car, they have a playlist that they've made just for their kids and they fire it up. Talking about being a, a gatekeeper to, to the entertainment that's right. coming. You can create your own custom designed um, playlist for your children and, and uh, you know, add, add, Victor music to it that helps do be sure to do get, that yes i get i think i get like a tenth of a cent every time someone um streams my song we <laughs> want to make sure that those add up, that adds up. You, know, <laughs> you, get, you know you get several thousand tenths of cents and yeah. man, you can buy gas for your car and just <laughs> go to the next gig so that's awesome it works that way that's so good <laughs> who are the monks how did you pull these guys together oh uh, the monks they're my friends, and they're great musicians and great players. And we've had an iteration of the of the monks over the years. Different different ones have come through, and and others have come back. And just uh, when you do something as long as as long as we've been doing this, I think you're going to have that life. Just you know, will take us different ways. But the monks are great, great musicians. They make me sound so much better, <laughs> <laughs> and they're so fun to play yeah. music with. Um, they're guys that, like I said, I've known for years. Many of them play, some of them play with other bands in the area um, as well. Um, my drummer, Brad Shell, who's known as Dr. Groove when he mm-hmm. plays with the Monks, mm-hmm. he's played with several uh, well-known local blues artists and R&B artists in the area. Um, Marty Cummings is uh, has, he's the bass player and, and does some background vocals, and he is an incredible musician, just the, and just a, just such a has such a great ear, and mm-hmm. I, I'm amazed at some of what he can do. But <clears throat> he has been a worship leader at uh, churches in the area and continues to play with other musicians, too, and other artists. And Greg Aker is the guy that plays all the different instruments on that side to my right on stage. He plays the flute, the saxophone, the harmonica, the whistle. I mean, it's on and on and on. We kind of tease Greg that every time he shows up, there's something new coming out of his suitcase and <laughs> But he is also a great musician and just yeah. someone who I think uh, kids kids just love watching Greg because all of his all of his instruments are very shiny. <laughs> so he has a real appeal, and and he uh, and he he works that too. It's awesome, and they are going to be performing this Friday, the twenty second, over at Malone University in the Randall Campus Center. It is jamming in your jammies. I don't think we can end a conversation with you without hearing something and maybe even something about a jammy day. So 
first of all, Chip, thanks for what you do and for bringing this to our community. And let's hear now from Chip Richter here on The Light 95.9. We're in the jammy, a jammy. Looks like a jammy day. We're in a jammy, a jammy. Oh, looks like it's a jammy day. So I got up for school today. I heard the radio man say, Ice and snow is gonna fly. It's not safe out on the roads, and so all of these schools are closed. Today is a day to stay inside. And you're jammy. It looks like it's a jammy day We're in a jammies, a jammies Oh, get out of game, come on, let's play They got jammies that have feet, you know I think that's pretty sweet It keeps you nice and warm that way Spider-Man and Scooby-Doo Even playing jammies will do Whatever they are, I love a jammy day Yeah, Get on your jammies Someone's in the kitchen What is that I'm sniffing? I could be mistaken I think I can smell bacon Yeah, yeah And maybe waffles too Ooh. We're in a jammy My days I'm on the go, out on a limb, out on the road. I never seem to have enough time to hang around the house with you. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. That's why these days are favorites of mine. We call them Jammy Day. Oh, looks like one. 